name is Paige. I'm a 27-year-old housewife. Before I married my husband, Takashi, who is five years older than me, I was working full-time at a company. However, after I got married, it was Takashi's wish for me to quit my job and become a full-time housewife. Takashi was an only child with working parents, and he said that he was always sad to come home to a dark house. That's why he wanted his wife to become a housewife and to be waiting for him at home. That's fine. I've been working a lot until now, so I was just thinking I wanted to relax a little bit. I'm going to do my best to support you from now on, Takashi. Thank you, Paige. And I'm going to work really hard for you and us, Paige. Even though he said that, Takashi was working as a small company and his monthly salary was only $1,500. I only found this out after we got married, but Takashi was the type to spend a lot of money on his hobbies and interests, and every month, a couple hundred of dollars would disappear towards his own hobbies. So he was telling me to figure it out with just $800 a month, but after paying rent, there was barely anything left. How was I supposed to pay for any of the bills and groceries, the loan on the car with this amount? Takashi was always kind, so I thought I would somehow be able to make it work as long as we were together, but... Like I said, this is where the wife comes in and shows her worth by figuring it out with this amount. Paige, you're always at home anyway, so I'm sure you have plenty of time to make it work. They're always showing ways to save on TV as well. Why don't you take some notes and do some research from that? Takashi seemed to think that if I could cut on costs, somehow I could make it work. But even then, there is something called a limit to what can be done. Plus, if I tried to save money and cook the same food, then Takashi kept complaining. Come on, chicken again? I'm getting tired of bean sprouts too. Why can't you use your brain a little bit and think of something else? You're a full-time housewife after all. You have plenty of time, don't you? Excuse me? From cleaning to laundry and getting all the meals ready and still busy every day, and I was irritated that he would say it in a way that was like I was just bored with all my time to spare. Being a full-time housewife is pretty busy, you know. If I cook in order to save money, then this is the only option we have. At the very least, if you can't put in a little bit more money towards the household... When I said that, Takashi suddenly started getting crazy angry. Excuse me? I'm giving you more than half of my salary every month, so stop complaining! Even though you're just a full-time housewife, and I'm the one supporting you, you better not go against me! And in this way, there was no way to talk to him about it. Before we got married, he was never such an egotistical person. But as soon as I became a full-time housewife, he became patriarchal and was almost like a completely different person. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. No matter how you think about it, it's impossible to figure out all of the living expenses with only $800 a month. Thanks to that, even though we're only in our first year of marriage, we're already in a deficit. If we think about the future, we should be saving, but we're constantly in a loss. I was overwhelmed with stress in life, and recently, it was making my stomach hurt. If I have to save this desperately, then it would be much more easier if I could just get a part-time job to support the household. However, Takashi refused to allow me to even get a part-time job. Hey Takashi, more than spending time on figuring out how to save money, I think it would be a lot more efficient if I went out to get a part-time job and earned some money. I just saw that the grocery store in the neighborhood was looking for staff, so I was thinking about applying there part-time. When I said that, Takashi's face turned bright red and he was completely against it. What did you say? Working at the neighborhood grocery store? That's embarrassing! It's almost like you're announcing to everybody that I'm not earning enough money! You better not embarrass me like that! Are you trying to smear mud on my face? What? Smear mud on your face? In reality, your earnings of $1,500 a month isn't enough, and these days anybody is working part-time. But Takashi refused to budge, and he wouldn't allow me to get a part-time job. In the end, he also wouldn't increase the amount for our living expenses, and again, all he did was yell at me that I didn't know how to make it work. Ugh. It's making my stomach hurt again. I was somehow getting by day by day when one day, I had plans to have lunch with my big sister Phoebe, who I hadn't seen in a while. 
Phoebe was five years older than me. She owned a business in trade relations, and she was often busy flying around the world. She was back home for the first time in a while from overseas, and she came over to see me. Hey, Paige! Oh, is it just me, or did you lose some weight? As soon as Phoebe saw me, she sounded worried. Yeah, I did. Actually... As I sat down, I told her about my interactions with Takashi and how my stomach has been hurting a lot lately because of that. Excuse me? That cheap bastard! I can't believe he would force my sweet little sister into such a lifestyle! When Phoebe heard about my situation, it looked like she was furious. He wasn't like this at all before we got married, but now he's up on his high horse, saying that he's the one supporting me as a full-time housewife, and I think I might be reaching my limit. Before I knew it, tears were streaming down my face. When I saw Phoebe's face, it must have made me open up. Paige, now that your big sister is here, you don't need to worry. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, thank you, Phoebe. Hmm? Wait a minute. I can feel it. Oh, so that's what's going on. Haha, -ha, it makes sense. I know things may be hard right now, but in the end, I think you'll be the one laughing, Paige. Wait, is Phoebe having another one of her visions? Ever since we were kids, Phoebe had an almost scary sixth sense, and she saved me from a pinch countless of times in the past. Paige, I have to go overseas again really soon, but you don't need to worry about anything, I can tell. And I'm sure that you're going to be okay. Believe in yourself and do what you think is best for yourself. I is that true? But if Phoebe has this much confidence, then surely it's going to go well, right? Sure, I will. And so that day I was cheered up by my big sister and headed back home. However, even after that, Takashi's words and actions didn't change. And then the day finally came that I reached my limit of patience and exploded. On that day, when he got home from work, he brought back a box that was almost as big as him. Wait, wait, what is this? That is a really big package. Where did you get it? Check this out. I finally got the life-size action figure that I've been looking for forever. What? Action figure? Life-size? They said it was the last one, so I rushed. And I bought it on the spot. When he said that and opened up the package, from inside came out a huge Spider-Man that was stuck in the same position. Excuse me? I knew that he liked American comics and that he'd been collecting a few things here and there, but I didn't think he'd get a life-sized one. Look at it. It's amazing, isn't it? I took the big leap and I bought it. Wow! It's so useless! But also, where is he planning on putting this massive thing? This is all happening so fast that my mind couldn't keep up. Uh, hey, by the way, how much did it cost? Because it was this huge, there's no doubt it had to be expensive. Yeah, it was the last one. And because they're a limited edition, get this, it was only $3,500. What a super good deal. Wh what? Even though I am desperately trying to save every single day and all I've been eating is bean sprouts, this person just bought a toy for $3,500 without even talking to me about it? $3,500? That's more than four months worth of our living expenses! Without paying any mind to my shock, Takashi was lovingly petting his Spider-Man toy. La la la! Finally got it on my hands! Gah! What are you lala lying about? I can't take this anymore! Hey, Takashi! You know how much I'm struggling in order to save every month, right? I can't even buy a one dollar pudding and yet you're putting such an expensive toy without even talking to me about it! There must be something wrong with you! However, Takashi only glared over at me and said the most unbelievable thing! But it's the money that I earned! It's my choice how I spend it, isn't it? You're not working, Paige, so obviously you need to hold back. What, even though you get a lifestyle with three meals and a nap included? Are you saying you also want an allowance? That's a bit too much, don't you think? <laughs> as long as you're being supported by me, you better not open your mouth anymore. Wait, the reason why I quit my job was because you begged me to. But you know, if I wanted, I could also earn money. The reason why I can't even go out to get a part-time job is because you won't let me, isn't it? That 
statement seemed to get to Takashi's head. There's no way I'm gonna let you do something as embarrassing as a part-time job. It's not gonna be that much money anyway. It's just a waste of your time. Look, if you're going to complain that much, then why don't you try living by yourself? You better learn how grateful you should be to me, even though you're just a full-time housewife and all you do is complain! As soon as he said that, Takashi suddenly shoved me across the room. Hey, what are you doing? Even though I desperately tried to fight back, there was no way I could win against his strength. Why don't you get a part-time job by yourself and try surviving? Here, as long as you have a bag and a jacket and shoes, that should be enough, right? Now get out! Right now! And then, before I knew it, I was thrown outside of the house with just one pair of shoes, a bag, and one jacket. What? Is he serious? This has to be a joke. I was shocked as I stood there by myself. I knocked on the door and rang the doorbell a number of times, but Takashi was completely ignoring me. At least I had my cell phone with me in the bag, and even though I called him, he wasn't answering at all. For a while, I was just walking around the house, but eventually I gave up and I decided to leave. That idiot! He better not think he's gonna get away with all this after everything he's said and done. And first of all, he's the one that wanted me to be a full-time housewife to begin with! And what kind of life-sized action figure was that? How many puddings could I have bought with that one figure? My anger had already blown through the limit, and I didn't have an ounce of love left for Takashi at all. Not only that, but the fire of revenge was burning and growing inside of me. That bastard! I'm definitely going to get back on my feet and make him regret this! And this was how I vowed to get my revenge on Takashi. Luckily, in my pocket, I had a key to Phoebe's apartment. Paige, you're welcome to come to my apartment whenever you want. Don't hesitate and use it as if it's your own home. Oh, that's right. Make sure you always have the key with you at all times, just in case. Thanks to her saying that to me, I'd always kept this key in my pocket no matter what I was wearing. And this is why Phoebe is amazing. She must have predicted something like this might happen. And so I headed towards the apartment that Phoebe owned. A few days later... A few days after I was kicked out of my house, I got a phone call from Takashi. Paige, how long do you plan on floating around on someone else's money? You need to hurry up and come home and look after me. As usual, he was up on his high horse and I was furious. Excuse me, I haven't used one cent of your money and I am taking care of myself with my own savings, so no need to worry. I don't have any intention of looking after you anymore. And I have no intention of coming back either. I said that and I hung up, and my phone rang a number of times after that, but it was none of my business anymore. He can use his own money and live his life as he pleases, but I'm not sure he's going to be up on that high horse for long. A few weeks later. I was still living my best life by myself in Phoebe's apartment. Phoebe actually lived in a high-rise luxury apartment in the middle of the city on a high floor. The view was amazing, and because Phoebe had predicted this was going to happen, she had also prepared groceries and clothes, everything for me before she left. This is why Phoebe is the best. A high-rise apartment sure is amazing! My morning routine was to have a cup of coffee in one hand while I look at the amazing view over the city. But then, at that moment, I heard the doorbell ring. Huh? Who could that be? When I glanced at the security monitor, it was none other than Takashi standing there. Paige, I know you're in there. Come on, open the door. A sad voice echoed across the security monitor. In just a few weeks, he'd become completely worn down. There wasn't a shadow of his old self left. Oh, he's finally here. Just as I predicted, I couldn't help but to start laughing. A few moments after I unlocked the front door, Takashi came up on the elevator and arrived at my door. He was stunned by the large apartment and the view from the high-rise building, and he was looking around with big eyes. This is an amazing place! Sure is! Phoebe actually has a few other apartments as an investment. Paige, why wouldn't you answer my calls? Oh my, you're already in tears. Oh, so sorry. You were so annoying that I was ignoring you, but I forgot to block you completely. I answered him with a huge smile across my face. No matter how long I waited, 
you wouldn't come home. And you wouldn't tell me where you were either. So I went to your family house and I finally found you here. I'd already told my mom that Takshi might be showing up there pretty soon. And if he did, to give him this address. In order to drop this misunderstanding loser to hell, I had drawn a fishing line and I had been waiting there. So, what do you want? Paige, you don't have to say it's so cold. Come back home right now. Ever since you left, I haven't had enough for living expenses at all. I can't pay rent next month either. And this month, I can't even pay the gas bill or the electricity bill. I'm also getting bills for the payment of the Spider-Man figure. And I don't have enough money at all. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I'm pretty sure that you were the one who kicked me out of the house though, Takashi. And now, you're telling me to come home? Do you think everything's going to go your way like that? Well then, I guess I can drop the bomb on him now. Hey look, now that you get it that between rent, the bills, and the loan on the car, we were already in a deficit every month, that even an elementary school kid could do that math? Or are you telling me that in order to save on the bills, that maybe I should have used candles instead? Should I have gathered the rainwater and used that instead? I asked you many times, didn't I? That we didn't have enough and I needed you to put in a little, little bit more for the living expenses, didn't I? Well, that's... And yet you were using every last penny of what was left on your own allowance and as a cherry on top, you went and bought an action figure like that and continued to yell at me that I needed to make it work. Who do you think you are? While me, your wife, should just live off of rice and salt and bean sprouts? Are you kidding me? Paige, you were somehow making it work. Excuse me, do you seriously think that anybody can survive based on those living expenses? What world are you living in? Because... I told you that before we got married, I had some savings in my account. But to tell you the truth, I received an inheritance from my investor grandfather and had close to $300,000. Ever since I was 20 years old, I started investing little by little, and every month I'm earning at least your salary, if not more, because I was a full-time housewife. I was trading stocks in the afternoon, too. The reason why I kept it a secret from you is because I knew that you would waste it if you knew that I had money. If you got carried away and bought a life-sized action figure with that money, I wouldn't be able to stand it. For me... I wanted to increase what I had for the sake of our future, but you have an ego, so I kept it to myself. But to tell you the truth, I had actually been putting a little bit from that into our living expenses. Uh, I had no idea. Paige, I didn't know that you were so rich. That's amazing. That's my Paige. As soon as he heard that, Takashi's face brightened up. In that case, then you definitely need to come back home. And then we're going to move into an even bigger place. I know. Why don't we just buy an apartment building? Or no, I guess building a house isn't out of reach either, is it? Wait, this is useless. This guy, even at this point, he's only thinking about himself. That's a joke. There's no way I'm ever going back to you. Now take this and get out and never come back. As I said that, I grabbed the green papers that I'd already prepared and shoved them in his face. That's right. They were divorce papers that I had already signed. What? You're joking, right? Think this over, right? Right? Takashi stood there in shock as he started to shake, but I said my last words. Now that I'm living alone, I really understand how grateful I am to this life without you. <laughs> no way! Takashi crumbled and I finally kicked him out of the apartment. I could hear his pathetic voice echoing on the other side of the door, but I completely ignored it. Ah, that was so refreshing. A guy like that can just live alone with his little Spider-Man figure. Take that! After that, Takashi refused to sign the divorce papers. And he said that if we're going to get a divorce, then give me half of your assets. But that being said, all of the assets that I had before we got married are mine and mine only. In the end, I got a lawyer involved and I actually collected a settlement fee from him in return. Because my stomach got messed up because of the emotional distress he caused. After getting divorced from me, Takashi became self-destructive and drowned himself in alcohol and gambling, completely destroying his own life. He also quit his job, but then he was caught by the debt collectors, and I heard that he's also being forced to work in some shady factory somewhere. 
As for me, I went back to working full-time and I've been busy every day. I always liked working and I'm really enjoying it. You finally seem like yourself again. I was so worried about you. It was all thanks to you, Phoebe. I'm finally healthy again. I don't have any more stress. Thank you for letting me borrow your apartment during this time. That's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're my only little sister. Anytime you need me, you can always rely on me. But even still, your apartment is really amazing, Phoebe. It made me want a high floor apartment in a high rise building. Oh my, really? Let's see, for you, Paige, I think that more than an apartment building, a house is more fitting. Yeah, I think you're gonna meet somebody beautiful in the Southwest. Maybe on the other side of the ocean? What? On the other side of the ocean? Do you mean somewhere overseas? No way! I can't wait! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!